Thank you, Dr. G. First of all, I must say, you know, when someone introduces you, you're supposed to come on here and say thank you and I'm supposed to act a little humble. But then <laughs> I looked up the word humble. And when you look up the word humble, it basically says to be modest and to basically lower the estimate of your importance. And I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to do that. So I am amazing. <laughs> and thank you to G very much because I believe how hard I've worked. So and so many you or you all have worked hard, whether it's career, job, or whatever you're doing on your goals, you should own it. So I'm owning mine. With that, right. <laughs> I am going to somewhat reintroduce myself. My name is actually Patrice Francois, but I go by Miss Francois. That's MSS for multi talented and super sexy. At one point in time, some people thought it was multi talented and super single, but I'm working on changing that. But in any case, you can hear that I have an accent. That's because I'm from a great island called Trinidad and Tobago. And here's some useless information. If you look up Trinidad and Tobago, we actually have one of the sexiest accents around. So you're welcome. With that said, I migrated here in my late teens. Why, why does anyone? in hopes of a better life, opportunity, more money. And for me, if you're an immigrant like me, when I was in Trinidad, I thought of America being this great, amazing place. Everybody was rich. I thought the family that I was going to be living with in New York, I thought they were going to be like the Winslows from Family Matters, or I was obsessed with that show called Full House. So I thought maybe I'll have a family like the Tanners. But when I came here, that family was not like one of those TV families. I had a very hard adjustment and I was it called abused in every which way. And that whole fairy tale that I had wasn't real. I was actually put out of the house, literally in a black garbage bag at the side of the road. And I remember that day thinking, where exactly was I going to sleep? So I say that to basically say what I've learned from that whole experience is don't pay attention to 90s sitcom. It's all a lie. It's not a fairy tale. But on a serious note, our experience shapes us. It shapes the person that we are. And before I even continue, I want to make sure you all are aware that I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychologist. I go to church only on Sundays. So I'm not a deacon preaching and I cannot give any spiritual advice. The only thing I can give you is what I have learned from my experience. And a lot of times you're going to hear quotes about not looking back. Something, what's her name? So Lee Page says, she encouraged you not to look back because something might be gaining on you. And there's another quote that says, do not look back because you might have regrets. Only look forward because there is a lot of opportunity. And now these quotes sound really nice and really cool, but I want to encourage you to look back because when you look back, you see how far you have come. And some of these things remind us why we should keep looking forward. So three things that may I try to look back and focus on in order to help me keep going forward is one, recognize growth. If any one of you are the same person you was when you were five, 16, or 25, honestly, you need a therapist and I can help you. But one of the things I want us to recognize, we're going to do a quick exercise and it's so simple. Even if your screen is off and you're trying to take care of the kids, cook something or whatever the case might be, I encourage you to pause because we're gonna do something called looking back. I want you to take a moment and think back to a particular time in your life where someone has hurt you. It could be at your job, it could be a friend, a family member, a particular instant, an event, a circumstance, a situation that caused you to feel less than, caused you to feel hurt, angry. Maybe you don't even talk to that person anymore. And when you start to feel all those emotions and, you know, you're thinking, oh, I never, oh, I hated her. I can't believe she did that to me. I thought we were friends. At the same time, when you look back, think about where you are at this present moment. 
because because of that situation you could have gotten a new relationship you could have discovered even a better way of looking at finding red flags in that past relationship maybe you have a whole new husband because of whatever that situation caused the whole point is when you look back you have grown and you is so many more things in life that we can continue to grow and learn so do look back and realize how far you have come number two is recognize that you should take some responsibility. Will Smith had posted a video sometime in 2001, and it basically said that it may not be your fault that certain things has happened, but it's your responsibility to fix it. Now, I've been in some relationships, and it may not be my fault that he cheated, and it may not be my fault that he ruined the relationship or the marriage, but it's my responsibility to heal from that pain and to move forward and to find my happiness. The whole point of that video was not to live in a victim mode. What's the point of focusing on all the things that person did to you back then and continue to hurt? You need to take your power back and figure out how can you heal from that hurt. And you could only do that by looking back and realize you should start moving forward because you can be great. Focus on creating and moving forward instead of blaming that person and being a victim for God knows how long. Plus I got a new man now, but and anyway, I digress. Thirdly, I want you to recognize and celebrate success. Many times when we look in the past, guess what? We always think of something negative that has happened we never seem to focus on the positive. I was in a program a few years ago and their names are Chris and Jen and they came up with this great thing that they had all of us do. It's called create your own badass list. So just like you look back in time and you think of all the things someone may have done to you and the situations you were in, why not think about all the wins you have had in your past? It could be graduating from college. It could be starting that business. It could be being promoted from that new job. It could be being the best mother you could be. It could be giving birth. But write a list down and every time you feel bad, look back and celebrate your wins. One thing I'll tell you, as Dr. G said, right? My name is Miss Francois. I host a show. It's, it's all about candid conversation, a bunch of entertainment, and I use humor to help others deal with the dysfunctional relationships. And some people come up to me and say, oh, that's so cool. I've seen your show. It's in 22 Caribbean countries, all that good stuff. But they don't know how I got there they don't know how I had to take my pain and make it my purpose. They don't know because of that show and the reason for that show is because all the relationships I've been in have failed. They didn't realize that I was ha having sex, believing that was love. They don't realize how much I felt lonely and hurt and how much pain I was going through because of these fears relationship. But I was able to take my pain and make it my purpose. So I say to you, recognize growth, take some responsibility, and recognize that you should celebrate your successes. And if all else fail, you can do like me. I always remember that it's the fire in my eyes, the flash of my teeth, the swing of my waist, and the joy in my feet. Because I am woman phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. I don't have a mic, so I can't drop it. So therefore, I'll just have to walk off in style. Thank you. Mm -hmm.